What's good YouTube? It's your boy Jay and we back with another video. Where have I been at? Let's go ahead and discuss the elephant in the room. But before we do that, let's run this intro, man. Run it. Top rank in the shit on top of the line. Hey, pull up, she gon' drop them at the drop of a dime. In that ghost, I'm on go. I don't stop and no sign. I don't stop for no shit. I don't stop for no time. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and start back in 2021, right after my last meet. And I just kind of want to discuss where I went, my hiatus. That meet itself really got to me hard um, to where I just literally put down the camera and I just started grinding in silence. You know, I, I didn't care if I picked up the camera or not. I was just really focused on my goals and the milestones that I wanted to reach. So I, I really wasn't too big on the whole recording thing. I just kind of entered like just a very, um, you know, anti-social grind mode kind of thing. And I apologize for that. On the other hand, I was going through a lot just as of life. I kind of just sat back and realized like, look, man, I'm about to be pushing 30. It's no way that I'm going to become a professional track athlete. You know, I'm not getting paid from YouTube. I don't have a lot of subscribers nor YouTube views. So that's not really going to work for me. I've been working at a nine to five for the past eight years that been a dead end job. I really wanted something that could benefit not only me, but benefit my kids. So I decided to go to the military. I started talking to recruiters, um, had a few people that I knew that were in the military that kind of just helped me pick and choose and understand which branch was right for me. At the same time, I'm still training low key. I'm not really uploading too much. I'm just more in a um, headspace was like, I don't want to be, you know, chasing a dream till I'm like 50 years old. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, like I kind of got to grow up and not really believe in fairy tales. I just have to understand that, yo, like I'm not going to be a Justin Gatlin. I'm not going to be a Christian Cove and a Ronnie Baker. You know, these guys are just the greatest at their craft. So once I kind of start talking to recruiters, things start moving pretty fast faster than I can really expect. Once you get in, you do your maps, you do your ASVAB, and honestly after that, and after you pick your MOS, they're shipping you off within a couple weeks. And that's the same thing that happened to me. I got shipped off to basic training in January of 2022, and that is when everything changed. After all that said and done, all the basic training and all the AIT, I finally get stationed at Fort Hood, Texas. Actually, Fort Cavazos, Texas, they just changed it, and I'm here in Texas now. I took down in Texas, I believe July 1st, September, I boarded a plane and went on my first deployment slash rotation that would last 11 months. Unfortunately, I had emergency leave around the 10 month mark that required me to come back to the US and to attend to my kids. So after all that was said and done, I'm finally back here in Texas. I haven't touched the track since. I mean, I've been to the track, ran a little bit, but I haven't been in shape, nor have I really did any time trials whatsoever. So I can only imagine where I'm sitting at right now. Unfortunately, with the career that I chose, track and field is just a tough sport to stay consistent at because I don't have the time to literally train consistently. I don't have the opportunity to, to travel consistently. I don't have the opportunity to actually run a full season because unfortunately the base and the unit that I'm a part of, we go on rotation slash deployment every year. By the time track season rolls back around, I'll be bored on a plane to head back to Europe or maybe to Kuwait. I don't know yet. But I definitely want to come and just let you guys know where I've been. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. I haven't forgot about you guys. So much has changed, bro. Fitness and bodybuilding actually is my main focus right now. Track and field will always be my love and always be my passion. But don't get it twisted. I'm gonna always have track content on the channel because that's what built this channel. That's what built the fan base and the subscribers that we have now was all because of track and field. So I'm never gonna do away with that. But with me doing bodybuilding, track and field can get in the way of cardio, calories burnt that I don't need burnt. On the flip side, I will be implementing more fitness and bodybuilding on the channel as well. And real quick, before I let you guys go, because I don't want to make this video too long, when I took my deployment slash rotation over to Poland, man, I was in the worst headspace I've ever been at. I've never been this depressed in my life. I felt like I failed myself. I felt like I didn't want to honestly live because 
I put so much hard work into track and field to turn pro or to make a USA team. And I felt like me coming to the army put that on halt. But once I really start to think and really start to understand that I love the sport of track and field dearly. Right, and I still have goals and milestones that I want to reach. I still want to run a 10 in a hundred meter, I still want to run below a 21 in a 200. So, I'm always going to chase after those goals no matter how old I get. But my mind was only focused on putting that USA on my chest, and I felt like if I didn't do that, then I failed, right? And that's not the case. So, once I understood that man everything just got so much easier for me. but like i said man i'm done rambling man stay tuned because i have three spikes that i caught that i have to do reviews on and y'all gonna see it here first so with that being said man hope you guys enjoyed the video don't worry i'm not going nowhere your boy's back live in effect so with that being said it's your boy jay and i'm signing out man peace